It's late July now, it's been so sunny and warm this past week, finally. So far summer has been mostly rainy, but it seems the weather is getting more consistent as we get closer to August. Even though summer here is so different from the one that I'm used to in Portugal, it's been kind of magical in its own way. And yes, I've been a bit blue and anxious for a while and I still feel a bit lost in life, but I'm also feeling hopeful. definitely do not thrive in the cold, so maybe it's an unpopular opinion that I wish summer would last forever. Because summer makes everything better, and I'm enjoying the slow pace, the long days, and the endless conversations about life with friends and my journal. It's been quite the healing journey. So my father was just here to visit us for a while. He stayed a few days and of course we offered him our bed and we slept on the couch. It was a lot of fun, but I'm feeling so tired right now because we walked so much. We went to a few museums, did a few like touri touristic things. It was a lot of fun. I think he had a really great time because it was his first time traveling since 2020. Of course because Covid, but then because he got really sick. But he's been bouncing back, which is amazing to see. And he was having just like a really great time here. Just so happy to be in a different country and seeing different things. Anyway, he left yesterday morning and I'm actually feeling really tired because we walked around a lot, but also because we've been sleeping on the couch the past few days. And I mean, this is not the most uncomfortable couch, but it could never replace a bed. After he left, we were just like so tired. We just spent the whole afternoon on the couch watching TV series. And I really feel like doing the same thing again today, but I can't. A few friends from Munich are here in Berlin as well, and so we're meeting with them. And then later today, we're actually seeing Trevor Noah live. Uh, he's doing like a stand-up tour, and so we're gonna see that. We actually saw him last year as well, because he came here, but he's here again, so uh, we're going. <laughs> now that I think of it, I'm actually not even sure if the show is gonna be different. Well, it's gonna be fun either way, so we're going. Then I think our friends are leaving on Sunday, and then a couple of days after, we're gonna have a friend staying with us, another friend from Munich. Yeah, suddenly everybody decided to come. <laughs> Uh, yeah, but I'm not complaining. I think it's gonna be lots of fun. Thankfully, they don't overlap, which I appreciate. Anyway, our friend is staying with us for a few days and then a week or a week and a half after that, we have another friend <laughs> staying with us. And that friend is actually staying for a whole month because we're traveling, we're doing... We're finally going on our honeymoon four years after getting married basically, and we're gonna be away for a whole month and she's gonna stay here taking care of our cats. And I'm excited, but also I'm nervous. I mean, she has met the cats before and they get along well and I think they're gonna be very well taken care of. That's not really what I'm worried about. I'm more worried about how the cats are gonna react to our absence, I guess. <laughs>
Good morning, guys. We're in August now. Today is August 6th, and it's gonna be my birthday in 10 days. I'm turning 30 on August 16th, and yeah, <laughs> I, I guess I'm leaving my 20s behind uh, once and for all. <laughs> I think there's two types of people, one that really loves and enjoy celebrating their birthday they make parties they get super happy around their birthday and then there's the other type which is usually the type that doesn't really celebrate their birthday either because they feel it's unimportant or maybe just they feel a bit melancholic about it and i wish i could say that i'm the first type but i actually identify as a second type more I don't really celebrate my birthday. I think the last birthday party that I had was when I turned 20 and my sister threw me a surprise birthday party, which was so much fun and I have so many great memories of that day. Uh, but also because I do tend to get a bit melancholic around my birthday. There's many reasons for that and honestly, August is kind of like a tricky month to have a birthday, at least if you live in the northern hemisphere when it's summertime. August tends to be the month when everyone's away on vacation, or at least that's how it is in Portugal, everybody just goes away on vacation. And so as a child I didn't get to have a lot of birthday parties with friends and stuff like that. And of course that would make me sad as a child, uh, because then, I mean, people would have their birthday parties throughout the year and I would feel a little bit jealous that I couldn't really celebrate it that way, I guess. I mean, we would do the cake thing as a family, of course, uh, which honestly is the part that I... I wouldn't say hates the most about, like, a birthday party, but it's definitely a weird situation to be in if you are the birthday person. At least for me, I always felt so awkward and weird, like having all of these people around me singing at me and looking at me. I just never really know what to do with my hands or where to look at. So it always made me feel so uncomfortable. It's a bit weird, right? Um, but I think the melancholy doesn't come only from that. For a long time, the idea of growing up and getting older scared the shit out of me. Especially as a teenager, I went through a really dark period during my teenage years while I was in high school. At 17, I was so depressed and burned out that I honestly believed that I wouldn't live past 20. I guess like the hole I was in was so dark and deep and lonely that I just didn't feel much joy in life and I I'd lost all of my strength and faith. And so I genuinely believe that. Thankfully, I was able to get past that feeling and I don't feel that way anymore, of course 
because now here I am about to turn 30 and I'm actually feeling excited about getting older and enter a new decade of my life. But I'm also feeling a little bit anxious about it, not gonna lie. I mean, there's a few reasons for that, but I never really spoke about this before on this channel, but you know, my mother actually passed away when she was 30. I was six at the time. And I guess it's a bit bizarre that I'm reaching the age that she had when she passed away. I, yeah, I don't even know how to explain it because I think it's such a peculiar feeling to this specific situation. I mean, it's not a unique feeling because I'm sure that sadly a lot of people also went through this, but it's definitely a feeling that I never felt before. It's not sadness, it's not anxiety, it's not... I don't know, I don't know what it is. I remember my sister talking about it when she herself turned 30 and now I am going through it uh, as well. And it's just, it's, it's weird. It's really, really weird. And I, I can't stop thinking about it for some reason. As a 30 year old, my mother was married. She had three children already, was building her career and in the process of moving to the other side of the country with us and my father so that they could build the life that they always dreamed of having together. Of course, times were different and I'm not trying to compare the life that I have right now with the life that she had when she was my age, but it's hard not to think about it and wonder what was going on inside her head. You know, because she died so young and I was so young at the time, I don't have a lot of memories of her. She was my primary caretaker, but I feel like I never really got to meet her, you know, as a person. And people don't really talk about it. Uh, people in my family or people that knew her don't really talk about her. And I don't know, I guess the tragedy of her death still weighs a lot and people get really uncomfortable whenever the subject comes up and they deviate, I guess, from it. For many years I tried asking questions about her, but ultimately I gave up because people wouldn't really engage and often they would get mad at me for asking too many questions. But recently I started asking questions again because as I get closer to her age, the more curious I get. Of course, I am aware that I'm never gonna be able to actually know the real her, you know, because the only thing that I have is the memories of others and the relationships that she had with them. They've met a version of her that I, maybe I would never meet as her daughter, you know, and I'll spend all of my life mourning her, that's for sure, but also mourning what I didn't get to experience and all of the versions of her that I didn't get to meet. And I know that it feels like a sad thought and maybe it is in some way, but it's, it's my reality and I've made my peace with it. I spent many years trying to make peace with it. Um, and I accept it, you know, it is what it is, <laughs> you know. I had to take a quick break to feed my cats, so we're changing the shot, I guess. <laughs> anyway, all of this to say that I am excited about getting older this time, maybe for the first time in my life, but it's also kind of a bittersweet feeling. There's still so much that I don't know and I have yet to experience and discover about life and about myself. But that's all part of life and the growing stages, you know? I feel like it's such a privilege to get older and not only that, but also to be able to grow and evolve as a person. I feel like I've changed a lot this past decade, which I'm happy about, to be honest. It was a tough journey, but I'm actually proud of the person that I've become and I'm excited about the journey ahead of me. I don't know what we'll bring, but I, I don't know, I, I'm curious about it. It's funny because when you are a teenager, you always look at 30 year olds and you think that they have all of their shit figured out. 30 seems like such a big number when you're like 18, you know? But now that I'm here, it's actually not that big of a number. I mean, your brain 
doesn't fully develop until you're 25 so I, my brain has only been fully developed for like five years so <laughs> you know what i mean i've come to accept that it's okay to feel lost sometimes there's no race your life is your own and it's okay to take time to figure yourself out and figure things out and it's okay to change careers whenever you want to and it's okay to experience new things you know regardless of your age i think we kind of just have to stay open to new experiences and be curious about things and eventually things will start to make sense, I guess, or maybe not. Anyway, I'm gonna stop talking now because I feel like this video is gonna be way too long. Um, so yeah, I just, I just wanna thank you so much guys for watching the video and I'll, I'll see you on the next one, bye.